Today's video, we're going to be talking about two components of a plant cell, which makes them different to an animal cell, and we'll be talking about these two key organelles. The first one is the cell wall, and the second one is the vacuole. I've included an image here so you can see the basic structure of a plant cell, and you can see this orange border, which is the cell wall, and we also have this large central structure, this green structure here, which is the vacuole. So so let's talk about the cell wall first. So we already know that animal cells, they have a cell membrane and that helps to contain everything inside of the cell. Now the cell wall in plant cells are an additional outer layer and it consists mostly of microfibrils of the polysaccharide, which is known as cellulose. These cellulose microfibrils are really strong. So they help to provide a lot of strength to the plant cell. A second feature of the cell wall is there is this middle layer, which is called the middle lamella. And this will tell you the boundary between the cell walls and it helps to stick one cell wall to the cell wall of an adjacent cell. Other key features of the cellulose cell wall are that it provides some strength. We've mentioned how strong cellulose is. So it provides uh, mechanical strength to the plant cell to stop it from bursting from lots of water, for example, going into the cell. So they don't tend to burst. It also allows water to pass along it. so. It helps to contribute to the movement of water throughout the plant. Now we're going to move on to vacuoles. So vacuoles, that's this large green central structure um, on this image. So I'll just bring this up here. So yeah, we have a vacuole. This is like a big fluid filled sac, which is inside of a plant cell. It's bounded by a single membrane. Yeah, so this is a vacuole. This outer membrane of the vacuole is actually called a tonoplast. The vacuole of a plant, it contains a solution of sugars, salts, amino acids, sometimes there's waste products there, maybe there's even some pigment storage going on. So the purpose of the plant vacuole is that it acts as food storage for the cell, so there's sugars and salts and minerals in there. Some say it can help provide some rigidity to the cell, and it provides some structural support because of its central position. Another feature is that it may store some pigmentation in the vacuole, which may help to change the color of the petals or the plant, and this can attract insects uh, for pollination. So those are the key features of the cell wall and the vacuole. Let me know in the comment section if you have any further questions.